Okay, so now I'm going to show you some effects on iMovie uh, HD. I decided to just record some random video and put it on here. As you can see, there are two things like I told you. Here's the timeline view, the clock, and then there's the clip view, which shows you that there's like transitions like that. That's a transition. So it even tells you what kind. You just okay. Okay. So. Here's like a spinning title, which is kind of cool. Um, so if you want to go to effects, you do okay, editing. Then you go to video FX. There's a there's a just colors. Um, you can make it like vivid. And then I'll show you. So this is vivid, pretty much like normal. And you can change it all the way to black and white, and back and forth. Uh, you can change it from light to dark. So dark makes it black screen. Light makes it pretty much a completely white screen. So put it back to. Uh, hue shift? Not exactly. I haven't really used this before. It looks like it'll just kind of add a weird little change to the screen color. It almost seems like right, like the left makes it almost like a greenish color, and all the way to the right makes it like purple or more purple. Okay, so another one, age film. I actually kind of like it. It's kind of cool. There's that old kind of film, and you can change the exposure, max, and um, like normal. Jitter is making makes it like kind of shaky. Um, I'll set it back to normal, like minimum. Scratches. This is kind of cool how you can do this. It makes it look like say even older than normal. See those black lines everywhere. So the higher the scratch level, the more of those there will be. Okay, there's black and white. Black and white next is brightness and contrast. You can pretty much guess what that's going to do. I mean, it makes the contrast like crazy. Or not at all. Um, next is Earthquake. This one's kind of cool, actually. It makes it really shaky. So, say if you wanted to have a video where, I don't know, if you wanted to make it look like you're in an earthquake or something, you can make it shake more violently, like vertically and sideways and everything it's pretty cool um next is electricity this one's a little weird i wouldn't exactly find any kind of a reason to use this except maybe in some weird like science video maybe um there's a little yellow thing here that you can actually move the electricity around your screen so um you can rotate it so you can have it like that that any kind of rotation and no matter how it's rotated you can still move around next is fairy dust it's this little kind of fairy thing you can make it go in any direction you want right. left right the tail just pretty much just kind of makes it like look bigger pretty much just makes the tail longer fast lower verse I'm surprised I move each D doesn't. I mean, the uh, iMovie 8 actually doesn't have this. It's kind of weird. You can make the the thing go faster. Like this. Okay. Okay. So I'll make it go really fast. Okay. So it goes really fast, and then there's extremely slow. Okay. Next is flash. It just makes this like random brightness pop up. You can change its speed so it's really slow. You make it really bright. You can make it flash like a ton. To make it just kinda weird. Uh next is fog. It's kinda cool. You can make a like a ghost movie maybe. I don't know why I'd, I'd want to really do that. 
or like a you're out on the sea or something maybe you could do that you could make it have wind so it moves the fog uh, you can change the color all the way from white you can do white blue Let's see you just turn you just move this little thing green even it's kind of cool you can make it like a party thing uh, let's see white purple blue green yellow red which is kind of cool you can make it like a intense party thing and black uh, I personally don't really like this one too much it just makes it kind of weird um you can even use it for white like they might even use this kind of effect in like that 70s show when they're in the basement and stuff okay uh, back on uh, ghost trails this one it pretty much just like kind of makes it uh, you can just kind of see it's like almost like leftover marks from the thing that last moved. There's opacity, so it's opaque, so that means you can't really see through it that well. Those trails, steps, um, it makes them like makes the trails bigger. So, um, there's a lens flare. I don't personally find this thing that interesting. Watch. Like I set it all the way to max, and it doesn't really seem. Uh, all it does is it kind of picks up the light. See, so like the light. These little balls that pop up here. Watch where the light fixture is. Right there on set. Okay, see those little light balls there? They're, uh, all that is is that's pretty much what it is. You can do this kind of cool, like, action movie kind of look. You can change its size so it's really tiny or off. You can make it different sizes. Cause you could zoom in on their eyes or something. You can shift it, which is kind of cool. It chooses where on the screen you're looking. Oh, there's mirror. It's kind of, it's pretty standard. Uh, it's kind of cool. You can actually move the uh, thing around. You can even make it horizontal, horizontally mirror. It's kind of cool. You can move it around and everything. Uh, you can vertically do that, so you can actually make it look like that, that. Okay, next, geez, this thing has a ton of effects. Next is N square. It's kind of cool. It does that like four screen kind of thing. You can make it have like a bazillion screens if you want to have it like look like you're looking through like a fly's eyes kind of thing. Um, next is Quartz Composer. This inside Quartz Composer, actually, right here, a little arrow. Close it. Under Quartz Composer, there is a ton of effects. And personally, I don't really want to go through all these. Um, I'll just click them, and I'll just try and say what they are. I'm not going to show you what, I mean, what each word, exactly how it's spelled and what it looks. But I'll just look at the screen, and I'll read them out loud. Okay, so this is Bloom. There's different intensities, radiuses, bump distortion. Kind of funny, you can move around this, this little wheel thing as usual. Circle, <coughs> circle splash distortion. Can make it small, large. Color monochrome, color posterize, color TV, crystallize, replacement distortion, edge work, edges. Kind of cool. It's like the city lights effect you can get for the eyesight. Exposure adjust. Um, false color, so it kind of messes with the colors. You can change the colors on your screen. There's like a little color thing. So it can make them more purple. Um, there can even be a second color, so I wanted to have purple and yellow as my main theme. Accent certain things. Just kind of, I, I kind of like this effect, so it's pretty cool. Gamma adjust. I've actually never really gone through all these, so I haven't seen gamma adjust before. It seems like it kind of changes the exposure pretty much. Gaussian blur. Um, just kind of makes it blurry, so say you wanted to make your video look like you're drunk maybe or you just woke up from like a nap or something I don't know glass distortion it's kinda cool it kinda looks like you're looking through that like really weird bumpiest glass that you can find in like showers and stuff so that's kinda cool hue adjust uh, pretty much already showed you this but it just changes the colors so. motion blur which makes it look really blurry negative it's kinda cool 
newspaper. I like kind of like that one. Old black and white. People. Move the people around. Pinch distortion. Pixelize. Pointillize. Saturate. Sepia tone. Star shine. Watercolor. White point adjust. Zoom blur. Rain. Sharpen. Soft focus. And that is all the effects. So, so soft focus can glow. And uh, this video is being edited on an iMovie HD um, thing. On the iMovie HD, not iMovie 8 this time. So, so I hope you like the uh, review, and I will see you next time on the next video. Bye.